All right, welcome back everyone. Today we are gonna be covering inner voice movements that you can use on the first, second, third, and fourth scale degree of the song. All right, we're gonna do this in C major as usual to make it easier for you all to transpose it to other keys, okay? Hopefully you're not relying on the transpose button. So what I'm gonna do is play the one and three together. Then I'm gonna play the six together, but I'm gonna play it as a grace note to the seventh, okay? So the six is A. The seven is B, so I'm gonna do a grace like this. And then I'm gonna go back to the six. All right, that's your first inner voice. All right, here we go. So when you're on the one, what you're gonna do is play the one in your left pinky, right? And you're gonna play the three in your right pinky, okay? Then I'm gonna target the six. What do I mean by target the six? I'm gonna play the six really quickly, like as a grace note to the seven, like this. And then I'm gonna go back to the six. And that's my first inner voice movement on the one, okay? So again, that's it. Pretty simple, right? All right, now on the second scale degree, I'm gonna do something very similar. On the second, I'm gonna play the two with my pinky in my left hand, and I'm gonna play the four, which is F, in my pinky on the right hand. So I'll play those two together. And this time I'm gonna target the flat at seventh. The flat at seventh in the key of C major is what? B flat, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Flat that, and you get the B flat. So I'm gonna play the two and the four together. I'm gonna target the seven, the flat at seven, but I'm gonna start off by playing it as a grace note to the one, right? And then I'm gonna go back to the flat at seven, okay? So B flat to C, and back to the B flat, all right? And that's the inner voice movement option one on the second scale degree. All right, on the third scale degree, I'm gonna play the three in my pinky on the right, on the left hand, and in my right hand, I'm gonna play the five on my pinky, okay? And I'm gonna play the three and the five together, right? And then I'm gonna target the one this time and do the same thing. Start off with the target note, which is C, and use that as a grace note to the whole step above it, which in this case is a D or the second. So, and then go back to the C, because it's my target. Okay, so that's what we're doing on the three. And then on the four, what I'm gonna do is the same thing. I'm gonna play the four in my left pinky here. And this time I'm gonna play the six in my right pinky, which is that A, right? So I got F and A, play those two together. And I'm gonna target the two. The two in the key of C major is what? It's D. So I'm gonna use the D, go up a whole step as a grace note, so. And then back down to the target tone, which is D. All right, so that's the first option on the first, second, third, and fourth scale degree. I'll run through all of them again. So again, on the one, play the one and three together, target the six, okay? On the two, play the two and the four together, target the flat at seventh. On the three, play the three and the five together and target the one, okay? And then on the fourth scale degree, play the four and the six together, and target the two. Easy enough, right? So that's option one. Now we wanna build upon that a little bit and make it a little bit more fancy, all right? So let's um, look at option one. Option one was just to play the two notes together and target the six, right? So option two is gonna build on this. We're gonna do the same thing, target of the six. So I'm gonna play the six to the seven, but this time I'm gonna jump back down a half step below the target tone. So half step below A, and then go back to the A. That's my target, okay? So what I'm doing is surrounding it for, okay? So that's it. So again, on the one, you're gonna play the one and three together, the A to B, jump down to A flat, and back to your target, which is A. All right, on the two, three, four, we're gonna do the same things, okay? Use a similar approach. So on the two, we're gonna play the same two and four together. This time we're gonna target the flat at seven. So flat at seven to the, to the one, go down a whole step below, go down a half step below the flat at seven, and go back to the flat at seven. So together, you go B flat to C, then A to B flat, all right? On the third, we're doing the same thing again. You're gonna play the three and the five together, right, and target the one, so. Go a half step below the one, and there you go. So together that is C to D and B to C. All right, and then on the four, we're gonna do the same thing. On the four, what you're gonna do is play the four in your left and the six on your right pinky. We're gonna target the two, so I'm gonna play the two to the three, half step below the two, 
and then go back to my two. All right, so all together, one, two, three, and four using option two should sound like this, okay? I'm gonna start off by targeting the six. Target the flat at seventh. All right, target the one. And target the two. All right, that's option two. Now let's add on to that and do a little bit of, um, make it a little bit more interesting. Really quickly, if you're enjoying this content, make sure that you like and subscribe to the channel. That way you can be notified of more awesome content just like this. And for this option number three, what you're gonna do is start off with option two and then add option one to it. All right, so this is what it sounds like, okay? Right, so what did I do there? I played the same one and three together. I start off by playing the six to the seventh. I go down a half step from my target tone, which is A flat, and then I do the target to the uh, the target a whole step up and back to the target again. So okay, so literally I'm just combining option two with option one. Okay, again A to B, A flat. A to B and back to A. All right. So all I'm doing is targeting it. All right. We're going to do the same thing on the two. How do we do the two? We're going to play the two and the four together, right? I'm targeting the flat at seventh. So I'm going to go flat at seventh to the one, half step below it, and then do the same thing again. Okay. That's it. Option three. Uh oh. Option number three. I'm going to play the three and the five together and target the one, right? Half step below. And then I'm going to do the one, two, one. All right. That's it. And then on the four, what are we doing there? We're going to play the four and the six together and target that two. Half step below and then go back above it by a whole step and back to my target, which is the two. All right. So all together, option three sounds like this. So that's some cool inner voice movements you can use whenever you go to the one, two, three, or four in a song. I hope it's a blessing to you, and I'll see you in the next video.